This is one of the thousands of suburban health clinics for women around Japan. Today, 36-year-old Masaki Okabe and his wife Sanai, 35, are having their first child. This is what their doctor, Hirofumi Chikuni, likes to do, deliver babies. Dr Chikuni's small clinic is a thriving business. He delivers around 40 babies a month and sees as many as 90 outpatients a day. When baby Sakiko finally makes her entrance, husband, grandparents, staff, even the foreign TV crew are included in the traditional celebration. But in between babies and beers, Dr. Chikuni has a very lucrative sideline at his clinic. A big portion of his income comes from abortions. Abortions performed as a method of birth control on young women whom he then sends away, unable to prescribe them a safe contraceptive. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Chikuni is off to work around 8am, though he's on the job already. I'm very, very busy. I have an expensive hobby, <laughs> so I must work hard. <laughs> His expensive hobby is traveling the world singing opera, different to that of his medical colleagues. Every doctor uh, training uh, golf ne? every day. <laughs> and very expensive, I think. Jinji, do you know what Jinji. Position of uh, hospital ne? decided uh, golf, golf course. <laughs> Professor. He arrives to an already long queue. In the waiting room, I met 19 year old Yoshe, who's seven weeks pregnant and here to have an abortion. Yoshi agreed to let us film the procedure as long as we didn't reveal her real identity. An abortion in Japan is expensive, anything between $1,000 and $2,000, and it's not refundable on the national health system. Dr. Chikuni told me of young girls taking a collection at school amongst friends to help pay for an abortion. なんとか生き延びてるっていう部分もありますけど、ですからそれが我々のところだけじゃないような気がしますね。他でもみんなそういう部分があってね、それでその経済的には中絶の数が減ると不都合みたいなね、そういう感じになると思いますけどね。Dr. Chikuni prides himself on the care he says he takes in performing abortions. He does around 700 a year. All the same, there's no licensed anaesthetist present to administer the general anaesthetic. Unlike other countries, it's not a requirement to have one for abortions in Japan. <laughs>
Six selection of them, no? Dr. Jakuni performs a curettage and then a vacuum suction on Yoshie. It goes smoothly, taking slightly longer than the five minutes Dr. Jakuni usually takes to finish an abortion. Yeah, no. Japanese health authorities claim around 330,000 abortions are done in Japan each year. But Dr. Chikuni tells me it could easily be double that. Still groggy from the procedure, Yoshie told me seven of her friends have had ten abortions between them. おろすぐらいと思ったんですけれども そういう思いはしたくないって。なんで失敗したと思う?子供できちゃったり。あ、変にしてなかったから。あ、なんでしたかとか、今度もそうだったのかな?うん、フィルマできたらどうする?やっぱ、みんな飲んでたら。うん。
means no panties. It openly caters to the appetite of Japanese men for young girls, an appetite that has been steadily growing since the AIDS scare encouraged men here to look for younger, safer flesh. <laughs> it's the type of club you can find in any pornographic magazine to be bought on open display at your regular convenience store. You can virtually indulge any whim you've got. In fact, there's a club here that allows a man to indulge his fantasy of molesting a woman on the train. The interior of the club is designed like a train carriage and inside a resisting woman that you can molest. Well, on the surface, it's all clean and neat and nice and safe. But underneath, there are lots of hypocrisy going on. No outside force, it seems, can penetrate the health ministry's resistance to the pill. Not even the combined market might of nine rival pharmaceutical companies, foreign and Japanese, who formed an extraordinary pact to apply en masse for the pill's approval. They're sitting on an estimated billion dollar market, but have been forced to watch from the sidelines as the health ministry stalled year after year, conducting exhaustive tests only to find new reasons to delay. This is the all-powerful Health Ministry of Japan, where I've had two frustrating hours of briefings with the ministry official responsible for processing applications for the pill. Not surprisingly, he's hiding behind his ministry's walls, telling me the pill is too controversial an issue for him or anyone else in his ministry to appear on camera. Off camera, he's told me the pill is still bogged down in bureaucratic processes. He can't say when or if the pill will ever be approved. Now, he's justified these delays by saying Japanese women themselves don't want the pill. So while there's no pressure, there's no hurry. What he hasn't given me is one good, solid reason why the ban has not been lifted. This is the side of the whole debate the health ministry ignores. Every one of these statues represents a life lost. They're replicas of Jizosama, the guardian of dead children, or Omizuko, the water baby who represents a fetus. Japanese women buy them at temples like this to placate the spirits of their fetus, lost through miscarriage or more commonly, abortion. Tens of thousands of these statues have been placed at this one temple alone, so many that every two years the Buddhist priests burn the effigies to make room for new ones. Twenty-one-year-old Megumi had an abortion less than three weeks ago at Dr Chikuni's clinic. She's at the temple with her boyfriend Hitoshi today to buy their statue. With three years of nursing training behind her, Megumi was due to sit her final exams when she fell pregnant. With no follow-up counselling, the temple is her only outlet for grief.
Megumi did pass her nursing exams, but even today, her first day in her new job at a prestigious nursing hospital in Tokyo, she's carrying nagging doubts. ちゃんと仕事をしようって自分を励ますんですけどやっぱり子供を自分の勝手で殺してしまったっていうのは多分ずっとこれからも自分の心の中にあるんだなって思います。Motherhood is a celebrated condition in Japan. Each month, our opera-loving Dr. Chikuni celebrates the first birthday of his smallest clients. With Japan's population size fast declining, authorities are urging Japanese women to have more babies. And the fact is, many Japanese women do go through with unplanned pregnancies. But by refusing them a more reliable contraceptive, one used by 90 million women worldwide, they are unashamedly forcing many Japanese women into abortions. まあ、なったらなったでね。あの、ピルは売ってあげましょうという程度だとは思いますけどね。で、その、そういうふうにしなければ、もう、なるべくピルをどんどん売ってね、アボーションを減らさなければならないというような風にはね、なりにくいような